Hi. I've got a Home Designer Pro 2023 opening, and just a simple little plan for demonstrations. <clears throat> and basically, just a little doghouse with a door and a window in it, like that. But do what you want to do. Like, Home Designer Pro will do everything Cheap Architect Premier will. It just takes a long time, and a long time relative to Premiere, and it's a little more mechanical. You have to go through, jump to more hoops. So you create an elevation view like this, and then with this view open, you have your text tools. <clears throat> so you can add your arrow with text. <sighs> Whatever it helped hire me as a typist. Okay. But you know, you could say you know the things you usually say in elevations. And uh, in terms of dimensions, you could use a, a deal like this, a marker, and line line your cursor up. See, I've got it level with the floor. Left click. And under text, uh, I'm going to take this and copy it, make a copy and move the copy down seven inches. That'd be minus seven. <clears throat> Okay, this one we're going to name uh, grade. Actually, needs it a little bit lower than that. Okay. <clears throat> and then ceiling's nine feet, so let's transfer replicate. Copy it again. Move it nine feet. Okay, you want to make it even fancier, go to your text, I mean your dimension tools, use end to end, not the, move that over so you can actually see it. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see. Yeah, I finally got it. Uh, I'm not doing this right. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll draw the other dimension first. It's kind of scrunched up there. There we go. There's nine feet. Uh, nine inches. Okay. We can further extend this to the ridge if you had a reason to. Uh, that's about it. Now, oh yeah, that's not it. Then you would want to have a... Uh, rid of that. Have a layout open. Go back to the camera. And I recommend that you zoom in close like this. And when you go file, send to the layout. That quarter inch is fine to start. Depending on the size paper you're using, quarter inch may be too big or too small. Anyway, I usually click on current screen so it doesn't send whatever the software thinks is the whole plan. And I, I like plot lines and quarter inch was okay. And there's the result. 
you can take to the view one cent away out. I recommend neatening it up. If you you can use this tag tag here, commonly I, I oftentimes just create my own tags. And if you want if you want to use this one, you can click on the view, open its dialog box, go to its label tab, where you can suppress the label, where you can specify the label. I'm just going to suppress it. There's a lot more to this, but uh, not in Home Designer Pro. In, in Chief Architect Premier, I could make an hour long video about that, but this covers the basics and I think it addresses your question. And you send this, where this is open, uh, you send it to the layout, which I've done. There it is on the layout. And then the view itself, was, is still stored in this icon. We, uh, there's the elevation. I'm going to close the elevation. And see, the camera icon is still there. You can double click on it if you want to add, edit, edit or change this. Or you can open the layout page and double click on the instance of it and open it back to the live view. <coughs> uh, cancel that. And this can be moved around. Now, in Home Designer Pro, I sent this at quarter inch scale. And like in Chief Architect, there's a rescale. You can raise scale. There's a rescale tool over here. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't exist in the Home Designer Pro. So what you'd have to do if you want this larger, we'll delete that instance, go back to this one, file send the layout. <coughs> if you wanted a bigger scale, and you have to tell it at this point. And if it's too small or too large, then you have to delete it from the layout and then send it again. There's a half inch scale version. Okay. That's about, in terms of Home Designer Pro, that's the best I can tell you. And there is something else I should say. <clears throat> when, you, when you go to display options, while on layout, you can see there's very few layers. That's because this is the layer display options just for the layout file, for nothing else. A lot, of, a lot of home designer and newer users go up here and look at display options, and they they think it's the same dialog. Well, there's one for each camera type layer display options, one for each camera type, one for plan view, one for layout. So that makes 11 or 12 different layer display options. <clears throat> so let me go back to, uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> so like this is the layer display options for plant, plant files. I'm going to go over here and, uh, oh, no, I can't do that there. That's over in general plan display. Turn the living area off or on, as I wish. <clears throat> if I don't want roof planes to show in plan view, I would go to the plan view display options. <sighs> go to terrain, terrain perimeter, and uncheck check that. Oh, I said dimensions, didn't I? Sorry about that. No, I said roof planes. <laughs> but you get the idea. This one, well, you're in plan view, it's from plan view. Then we go to a different camera type. It has its own display options. So this is very important. A lot of people miss that when, it's, when they're new to the software. And it can be very confusing unless you realize that there's 12 different ways to turn layers on and off in the software. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. I hope it help, helps you. <laughs>